the Priory Ballam, a strange, unquiet place. There was a murder in this house, a murder that rocked Victorian society. A murder, moreover, that was never solved. Mrs. Bravo, I need anything more tonight. That'll be all, thank you, Marianne. Good night. Good night. Hot water. Hot water. Get some hot water, for God's sake! Mrs. Cox, you better come. The master's ill. Dr. Harrison's miles away. No! Ro! Fetch a local doctor! I don't care who, just fetch him at once! <laughs> By the 21st of April, 1876, Charles Bravo, a bridegroom of only five months, was dead. The cause was antimony, a poison that literally burns away the organs of the victim. Ghastly death. Behind him, he left a young wife, and an impenetrable mystery, which this inquest did little to resolve. Order. We find that Charles Delaunay Turner Bravo did not commit suicide, that he did not meet his death by misadventure, that he was willfully murdered by the administration of Tata Emetic, but there is not sufficient evidence to fix the guilt upon any person or persons. <laughs> The revelations of life at the Priory had made the inquest the scandal of the age, and no wonder. It had the lot. Jealousy, money, sex in bucket loads, motives without number, hijinks in high society, just what the British love best. And at the centre of the storm, the reluctant star on whom the nation's eyes were fixed, was the beautiful, if tarnished, Florence Bravo. So who did kill Charles Bravo on that terrible night? Well, one thing we do know. By any standards, it was a most mysterious murder. <laughs> <laughs>